Hi, I'm Renee Esquivel and you're watching my latest video on my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Let me get right into this. You can control devices in your Apple HomeKit that are not natively compatible with Apple HomeKit. And how do you do that? Well, you create a bridge called, the, or you install a bridge, the Apple Home Bridge. Well, I shouldn't say Apple, it's just Homebridge. It's compatible with Apple, but it's not developed by Apple. It's developed by the internet community and fine folks they are. And uh, and then by installing plugins for each type of uh, device you'd like to install, you can use an array of devices that natively would not work with your Apple HomeKit. And that lets you take advantage of the affordability of those devices and their availability. Because now you can easily trot on over to a Home Depot or a Walmart and get devices that probably otherwise you'd have to order an, an expensive equivalent uh, through Amazon or some other online place and then wait for it to arrive. So let's get right into it now. I'll walk you through it. It's not that hard. I'll step you through it. It'll make it real easy. And before long, you'll be doing some great stuff. So let's get right into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is do a search for install Homebridge on Mac OS. And then uh, click on that link, install Homebridge on Mac OS GitHub. That brings you to this page. Go ahead and click on install node.js. Click on the download Node.js installer for whatever is the current version. That downloads it and then you want to go ahead and uh, go to your downloads for the browser. And you'll see the Node package in there. Go ahead and click on that to install it. That brings the installer up. Go ahead and select the defaults. Continue. Uh, your main drive, or it should be your only drive, but go ahead and select that. And uh, install. Use the same password with which you uh, log in after a power up or reboot. Uh, give access for the downloads folder because that's where the install is located. And it will go ahead and complete. Uh, go ahead and huck the installer in the trash. You don't need it anymore. Okay, now we'll have some commands. Open up a terminal with command spacebar to bring up your spotlight. Type terminal. That brings up the terminal window. Uh, let's go to your browser. Hold the shift key down while you tap on the terminal. That will let both browser and terminal window be open at the same time. And first thing we'll do is type in node space dash v just want to see the version 1616 that we installed. There's another element to it, NPM, and that just is proof that it's working, that it is installed up to this point. Now, that sudo command, that whole line, copy that with command C as in Charlie, go to your terminal window with Alt Tab, get back to the terminal window, paste it with command V as in Victor, hit enter, use the same password for logging in, and it will go ahead and start installing it. This might be a little gruesome compared to the usual GUI for the Mac OS, but this is the largest part that you do at the command line, and it won't take long either. Okay, it's now done. Okay, then go ahead and the next part, copy that sudo uh, for the home Homebridge service with the command C as in Charlie and command V as in Victor to paste it into the terminal window. It installs and gives you that proof, Homebridge setup complete. Uh, notice there it says on the web page, uh, the HTTP localhost 8581. That's what you want to paste into your browser. And that brings you to this portal. Now you can create any username and password you want, but typically admin is the account name used on web portals that control devices. And so that's what I went with. You can use anything you want. I 
go admin, give it a password, and then confirm that password. And I don't typo like I did. I uh, can't, uh, can't do it. Can't create the account unless the password's confirmed. Okay, all good there. Click create account and now open your dashboard and save your password. Now, there's a lot of info here. That's the load on your uh, processor for the Mac Mini M1. Memory should be eight gigabytes for almost everybody. Uh, most of your memory is free. Uh, uptime is simply how long it's been running, the Mac Mini, since you last rebooted. Scan code, you use that to add this to your Apple HomeKit or the digits uh, number if you want to do it manually. Status page is where you currently at. Plugins is where you can install plugins. Uh, config, don't go there. <laughs> and accessories is where you can actually control these devices. We don't have any installed yet. Uh, view the log file, don't need to do that. Power cycle, uh, you may need that on occasion. And then there's some additional options there that you really don't need to access. Okay, now with my iPhone, I go to the HomeKit app and uh, tap on the plus symbol to add. I'm going to select add accessory. And I'm gonna point the iPhone at that same barcode you saw on the dashboard. And there it is, bridge, okay, add anyway. I know it's not certified, but add anyway. and create a room or use any of those suggested rooms. I'm going to go with where the target device is, the carrier central heating and air, is, that controller's in the upstairs hallway, upstairs relative to my lab. So I'm going to go ahead and create a room called upstairs hallway. And continue. I'll shorten that name to simply be Homebridge. And then continue. And it's added. Now, there's no devices yet added. So there you have it. Uh, at this point, I would uh, reboot your Mac Mini M1 because even though there is that restart option on the portal that I showed you earlier, everything that needs to get refreshed and started up, I found didn't happen until I actually rebooted the Mac Mini M1. And once I did that, it, it worked, worked well. Um, aside from that, you should see that everything is, at this point, really easy. And you've laid the foundation now to install plugins of your own. I'll have a couple videos uh, showing me installing the plugin for the carrier, essential heating and air, so I can control that from my uh, Apple Home Kit, and actually also using a light bulb from Home Depot's new product line, Hubspace, uh, a direct competitor to Google, uh, Amazon, and Apple. Um, but they have good products and they are affordable and you can use them in your Apple Home Kit. Uh, so uh, please give me the like and subscribe. I do appreciate the support and everyone who has uh, subscribe to my channel knows that I counter subscribe and I'll watch content if you have any I've learned things doing that and we help each other out until next time uh, hey doll